Good morning, shoppers. It's time to make coffee. So let's look at our coffee maker. This is the Capresso coffee maker, and it's got some really cool features. Um, one of them is you have this nice stainless steel carafe. And the good thing about this is that it is insulated. So once you make coffee, it will stay warm. It's not like the glass ones where once your coffee's done, it sits there and you come to get your second cup and you're like, oh, my coffee's not hot anymore. <laughs> so you don't have that issue with, uh, the, with the insulated carafe. It has also a nice way to seal, so when the coffee's made, you could actually just put this, take this to the table, put it on a trivet or a hot pad, and you could sit with your coffee while you refill. So that's really nice if you have some time in the mornings or if you have guests, so you can all sit around and socialize while you have your coffee right there, and no one has to get up and come back to the coffee maker. So one thing about the seal is you'll notice, let me just do this in case, I, <laughs> it doesn't come, well, okay, it comes out slowly because I have it sealed at the moment. There, now it's sealed all the way still comes out slowly. But what you really want is your coffee to pour, right? So you can loosen it and get a greater pour. Okay, so I'm gonna put some water in here and we will show how to operate the coffee maker. And so you can see how many cups you're making. There's a guide on the side to show you. And you could just take the lid off and pour it in if you wanted to do it more quickly than that because the lid does come all the way off. See, and there you go, you have your coffee. So I'm going to seal it up for the brew cycle. We're just going to set this in here on the burner, close this. And now you're thinking, okay, we have to put the coffee in here. So how do I do that? Why doesn't it open? Check this out. Fancy. Nice. Very. So it has a little button that you push. And then you're going to take your coffee maker, and it does take the cone-style coffee filters. Okay, so here's your filter. And let's put some coffee in there. Most people measure it out. I'm just going to put some in there because you know, we like a lot of coffee, so that's good. And then you close this up, and then you have some options here. If you only want like three to five cups or, or whatever, you know, you have some different options. You can program it, and like if I push program, you'll see here's the time. So if you want your coffee ready for you in the morning, say you get up at the same time every day through the week, you can set the clock and you can have your coffee um, be ready for you when you wake up. I'm gonna shut that off because I don't really want that. Actually, I guess it just resets it, but you can program it, okay? I'm gonna shut off the... <laughs> what I really wanna do is just make some coffee, but what my point is here, you can auto-program it to come on at whatever time that you want, which is really cool. You can filter your water, and it's telling you there, maybe it's, it's flashing green, so that's saying your filter is good. And when it flashes red, it's time to replace a filter. So let's just turn the power on, and it should begin brewing here in just a second because there's nothing else that's on. So let's just listen for a few minutes while we talk some more about some of the features. Um, notice too, I'm just gonna put it, push it back here. I really like the size of this. It's a little more vertical. You hear that? The sound of wonderfulness. Yes. In the morning, that's what you want. Your coffee is brewing and it's almost ready or you can program it. It can do this while you're getting up and um, checking your phone and walking downstairs or walking to your kitchen and then you can be here and your coffee will be done. Anyway, it's a little more vertical, so it's nice it doesn't take up, it doesn't have a big footprint, and I really like that about this. Some of the coffee makers can get really huge and take up a lot of your countertop space, but this one's not too bad like that. So we will let it brew, and let's see if we can see, let me pull it back out again, we'll see if we can see the water, how quickly. So you don't see like a, a sudden decrease, which is good because you want your water to have contact with your coffee grounds. It is going down though. Mm -hmm. So I think I, it's I only it just going to be a few minutes and then yeah. we'll have a nice pot of hot coffee and we'll look at that and see how warm it is when it comes straight out of the coffee maker. Welcome back. We are still brewing, but we have enough brewed now that I can uh, pour it in the cup and we'll see uh, what the coffee is like. So another good feature about this, a lot of people like this, you pull that out and it won't drip. So you don't even have to wait for the brew cycle to complete before you can pour your cup of coffee. Look at that. Wow. Nice, rich, dark coffee. I'm gonna yes. pour just about half a cup there. Look, no dripping. It's really no amazing. Dripping. Yeah, and then you put this back. Oh, then, then you, you can see it. You can see it. When you do that, it starts coming out. <laughs> Pull it out again, just so we can see that again. Oh, wow, do Pull it again. It yeah, put it back in, let's see. You can't, you can't get it to mess up. I know, it's great. <laughs> It's great, so that saves you a lot of mess and you don't have to wait for it to finish before you have your first cup. So I'm going to take a taste and see how hot it comes out and what the strength is like. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Is it? Yeah, the temperature is really nice. Nice. It's, it's hot enough that you could either wait a bit or put some milk. 
So I always like that. Like I don't like when it comes out too cool and you put the milk and then your coffee's cold and you have to microwave it or you have to warm your milk ahead of time. This comes out nice. You can put some milk in there. You still have to have some good heat. And again, you, when this is done, you can just take it with you to the table or wherever it is that you're sitting, if you're enjoying your coffee outside and you can refill your coffee will stay this original temperature. You hear it finishing up now. Yeah. Awesome. So if you're looking for a good coffee maker, one that is an overall, you can program it so it'll be ready when you wake up. It keeps your coffee warm when you have guests. It's really good for that. It makes a nice, tasty cup of coffee. I highly recommend the Capresso. Good luck.